Hello everybody, my name is Guzo9000 and I'm going to continue on my last episode. So, my last episode, as you can see, the character looks slightly different and everything else looks different other than this. This are the exact same thing, exact same thing, it's just different drawings because I didn't save the last one, I saved this one. Okay, so, what you want to do is, uh, what we're going to do is make a sword that swings. It goes, hello, swing, kills people in your path, la ti ta ti ta No, like that. So, you want to insert a new object, a sprite. And you're just going to draw yourself a sword. Doesn't matter how long or retarded it looks. What I'm doing, since I'm making a blob, I'm going to do some weird thing like that. Like it's like like a like it's getting stuck inside of the blob. Then a huge just raggedy sort of doom. Okay, that was a little too raggedy. Ching ching. They're a huge sort of doom. So then what you wanna do is click some gray, make the sword gray, put a black line through the middle because it's an awesome sword voila you have a sword so then once you do that what you want to do is just exit out boom you have your sword you can make it as big as you want you can have a huge sword like a really huge just powerful sword -na -na -na. or you can just have like a teeny sword just kidding have a huge sword <laughs> So what you want to do is you want to double click your character. You want to set origin or image points. You want to add an image point and click image point to like where you want your character to hold a weapon. So I'm going to hold it right there. And you also, that, that one needs to be image point one. And this one, double click that, needs to be origin lemon image point zero put it right there like right there okay so once you do that you want to uh color in this little area that i did not color in i'm gonna color it in black or something that's yeah, good enough so <laughs> once you have your little image points on you want to go to event sheet and you want to there you go, animations, put down animations. So you want to add an event, you want to um add a system and you have to do ticks. Ticks, 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 ticks. Every tick. So you want to add the action sprite. You want to do Um, where is it? Uh, I can't find it. Okay, I'm gonna do set position to another object. I couldn't find it, sorry. You want to choose the object, you want to choose sprite 3. No, it cancel, yes, it's the opposite way around, cancel, you don't want. So, you want to add an action, you want system, set position. Okay, set pose. Okay, never mind that. Sprite 2, I'm being retarded. Haha, <laughs> uh, no, wrong one. Sorry, Sprite 3. It gets confusing. So, set position to another object, and that object is going to be choose the object sprite. Okay, image point 1. Done. That's all you have to do. So, after you do that, uh, and you play, you go to the game, your character, Oli Moly, Guacamole. Okay, so I also made an animation. My bad, I, I didn't teach you that yet, so. Yeah, but look, the characters go, do, do, do. It was pretty good. But the one I set the image point to is. Which one? Which one did I set it to? Hmm. 
finish point one. Okay, uh, I just gotta leave that one. And then boom, we still have the image point one. Okay. My bad. Now when you play it, it plays, and you have your sword right on you. So what you want to do after that is you want to double click your sword and make it black. Not black. You see black, like completely dead black. Boom. Dead black. Now it's dead black. Huh. So now when you play it, it looks. Okay, it's not really how to do that. It looks a little more decent because it's black. So, mm, you know what you should do? Just get color and you should color that part in right there because. Boom. Now it looks good. So after you do that, you can make it a little smaller because it's slightly annoying. So after you do that, you have to go to the event sheet. How much time do I have left? Uh, I have like four minutes left, so I have to hurry up and do this. So you want to add an event. You want to do keyboard on key pressed. Choose the key. Spacebar. Okay. Done. So on when you press spacebar, your sword will be set angle to forty. There. So your sword will go to forty. Then what you want to do is you want to do system all the way down to weight. And you want to wait like. 0 0.0 0 0.1 second then you want to add a system again you want to set angle to no not 30 like 60 done then you want to add an action system wait 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 which is down here then you want to set that to 0 0.1 seconds and then you have to cancel it so then there's that set angle again to basically gradually getting closer and closer to 90 degrees boom add an action sprite through uh, no back system boom boom Wait, 0 0.1 again, boom, then you add action sprite, set angle all the way to 90 degrees. So now it's on 90 degrees, now you want to go back to um, so you want it to go back basically to is there already a wait? No. You want it to go back up without it teleporting up. So once you do that, you have to. Okay, uh. Wait, 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 wait. You have to wait again. Like one point. Wait. 0 0.1 seconds. And then basically what you're doing is you're like doing an animation. You set 40 degrees, wait one second. Set 60 degrees, wait, I mean, 0.1 second, set 90 degrees, wait, 0.1 second. It's basically doing like an animation of going downwards. Then, when you want to go upwards, you do sprite, do slightly faster. So, you just set angle to like 45 degrees, done. Then, you want to add action, system, wait. Wait 0 0.1 degree I mean seconds. Add an action. The sword. You want to set angle to zero. So then it's back up, straight up. So now let's see what that looks like. Play. Shing, shing. Yeah, I'm a I'm a blob that likes stabbing people. Sh -sh 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 Oh, oh, yeah. The thing that's hard to make, though, is the whole mirroring it.